Hello, hello, hola, como están? My name is Janae Luna. This is the Makeup Lounge. Now, I am bringing you a tutorial, a how-to video on the way I shave my face. I do my at-home laser hair remover and then how I take care of it afterwards. Now, in no shape, weight, or form, am I a professional? I am not. This is the way that I do it. This is the way that it works for me. If you do not want to do it like this or you just don't feel comfortable, then you do not have to. It is totally okay. No one is judging. Now, to start off, I did already clean my face. I did already wash it and everything. I do have clean hands. Remember to always have clean hands when you are working with your face, especially if you are shaving it and removing all of the dead skin cells like we are going to do today. If you are doing all of that, make sure your hands are clean. Now, I do use the Daisy Fuentes Eyebrow Slash Face Shaver. And you do not need to use this one. Whichever one you have that is like this will work. Now, I am going to be using that. And this is my at-home laser hair remover. This is the Lux Skin. Now, it does come in a box like this. I did order it online. And no, it was not sent to me. It is not sponsored. Obviously, I am just beginning this journey. I did pay for it with my own money and it works. I will tell you that. Now, it does come with a little instruction paper in there. Remember to read it through and through so that you know what it is you need to do, how to work it and what not to do. Now, this you do use it only once a week only one time a week and you do it let me read um you do it once a week for 12 weeks after this time you can use just once a month or once every two months so after those 12 weeks you can lower down the use time now after eight weeks you will start noticing that your hair is thinner, that it's not growing back as fast because this does target your little hair follicles. You do need to shave in order for this to work. If you wax, it will not work because it does need that follicle. Like I said, remember, read this through and through so like that you know what to do and what not to do. So when you are zapping, it does have five settings. It has its on and off button and it has its cord that is detachable. Now you are in setting, let me start from the beginning. Setting one, setting two. Now I jump to setting four and now setting five. So once you reach the fifth setting, it is the max setting. It does sting more in this setting. I am not going to lie to you. It does sting more, especially in sensitive areas. But in order for you to see the results much quicker and much better, it is recommended to use it in the fifth setting. Now, you can always work your way up from setting one, to setting two, to setting three, to setting four. Once you reach setting four and you feel adventurous and wanna go to setting five, then that is okay. You can build your way up. Now remember, it's once a week, so do not try all of the settings in one week. Do not do a setting a day because you should not. Now going back to setting five, I did right off the bat start into setting five I do notice that it does stink in certain areas, like I said, which ones are sensitive, but it is nothing that you do not get used to. After a bit, you do get used to it and it becomes just easier and easier to do. Now, it will not zap if it does not have skin to skin contact. If it does have skin to skin contact, that is when this bad boy will zap. This is the zapping button right in the middle. Like I said, it's on and off button, and this is the same button that you use to control your settings. Your cord does detach, so it makes it much easier and convenient for you to put away. Now, if you think that you're going to lose your cord, you can leave it together and just wrap it up 
put it in this box or however you want to put it away. But this is what we are using today. Now, after I do my laser treatment, I like to use vitamin E and Mederma Quick Dry Oil. Vitamin E because it's great for the skin, period. Vitamin E is great for your skin. Now, Mederma, the reason why I use this quick dry oil is because it's good for scars, stretch marks, uneven skin tone, and dry skin. I do have combination skin. Part of my skin is oily. Other parts are very dry. I do end up sometimes getting dry patches. That oil helps a lot with those dry patches as well as pigmentation on my face. There's times where I do have... Um, sunspots there's times where i um, end up getting red pigmentation around certain areas in my face and there is just sometimes where people end up getting dark um, sunspots around their mustache area around their beard area and things like that especially if you're using a light treatment or if you're using a shaver you want to prevent anything like that from happening or removing it if you do already have it. Now, that oil is great for that. You will start seeing results. If you do not, there is other products that you can try. Do not feel bad. Sometimes it just really depends on how long you have let that happen on your skin. And it does depend if you remove the dead skin cells first. If you do exfoliate, that helps a lot because once you exfoliate and you remove all of that um, layers that you have on top, you can really let this product seep its way really deep into those problem areas and it will help it work that much better. So I am going to be demonstrating the way that I do this. I will not actually be doing it on my skin because sadly I did already do this video and my sound was not working on me so i am sorry now i'm going to grab my face shaver i'm going to move my hair out of the way and what i will be doing is starting from the top to the bottom so this is how i go i am not actually doing it i am just gliding it through because i am showing you guys i did already do this and I do not want to damage my skin or irritate it in any kind of way. So I'm just going to be demonstrating. So I do go from the top of my forehead downwards. I go downwards all around. On this area, I go in an angle. And then I go downwards again. And I just keep on going down. You will be seeing peach fuzz you will be seeing your dead skin cells coming off if you do this with a wet face you will be seeing all of that if you do it with a dry face you will see it as well yes you can shave your face if it's dry there's no problem some people end up getting irritated it's okay if you get irritated do not do it make sure your skin is wet and if you do not get irritated and that's just the way you like to do it then you are okay now in this area you do need to be very careful because you do not want to cut yourself. This is not a flimsy blade. It does cut. So be very, very careful. Now, when you're doing this area, you can tug at your skin a tiny bit. Work your way down. As well as right here. Now, when you reach this area, you do want to tug and go at an angle. Be very careful with this point to not cut you. You do want to be very careful. If you want, you can actually go like this. Then go work on the bridge of your nose, the top part. And then when it comes to the other bridge, angle your blade, angle your shaver downwards. Now be very careful. You do not want to cut yourself here. So be very careful. When you reach here, you can always go like this. And then start tugging on the other side. Work your way down. Work your way down. Work your way down. And you're going to be doing that all over the face. You're going to work your way down on your mustache area, your chin area, your temples. I did already show you that I do that in an angle. My forehead, I go downwards. And so on. That is the way I do shave my face. I do apologize that I am not actually doing it, you know, right now. Like I said, I did do it for, like, in the previous video. And 
once I got done doing the whole process, ended up noticing that my sound was not working. So after I shave my face, I go straight into my laser. Now the back, you turn it on, you put your setting on high. That is the way I use it. If you are going to be using it in any other setting, you place it at your setting. Now, I will be demonstrating it on my hand just so that you see how it works. So, you need to have your skin contact right on it because like I said, if there's no skin contact, it will not work. So, you just press it on correctly and zap. That is all you do. You just push it down and zap. You're not going to actually be pressing it like to an extreme against your skin you do not want to do that you just want to make sure that your skin is covering this bottom area correctly you do not have to extremely force it onto the skin please do not do that you can get burned and we do not want that so the way that i do this on my face i am going to shut it off just so that i do not actually press it on but I will be pressing it with the off so like that you can see it. So what I do is that I place it right on the forehead and I zap. I move it down, zap. I move it down, zap again. And once I reach right here, I close my eyes and I zap. Now in between my eyebrows, I place it right in between i do close my eyes and try and cover them as best as i can and zap you do want to try and protect your eyes if you have um, goggles at home go ahead and put them on so while you are zapping you are not getting any of that onto your eyes if you do not have them please try and cover them as much as possible do not look into the light we do not want to cause any kind of damage to your eyesight now, I do go on the bridge of my nose, just because in case I get any kind of peach fuzz or anything like that, this can help remove it if you want. It's optional. You do not have to do it. You can. So, I work my way down. I work my way down. Right here, I do only go straight and zap. When it comes to this area, I do put my finger in between my laser remover and my eye. I close my eye, or you can easily cover your whole eye with your hand and zap. Now, I place it first, obviously with my eyes open so that I know where I am placing it, and then I go ahead and shield my eyes. Now, I do work on my way down, down, down 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 on this portion of my face i like to have it upwards instead of side to side i like to have it up and down and i do move my hair back and zap 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 i do go underneath my jawline underneath my chin and then once again zap 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 straight up and down now in these areas remember shield your eye and i go side to side and then i move my way down right here as well shield my eye move my way down i do my chin as well If you did already do this area, you do not have to worry about it. You just work on your chin. And then I do my mustache. So I go on the side, middle, side. And make sure that I do, do the open areas on my face. I don't want to get it extremely close to your brows. And you do not want to get it extremely close to your baby hairs. Because you do want hair growth in those particular areas. Now... Once I am done zapping away with this baby right here, I move on to my skincare. Uh, this is what works for me. You do not have to do this. I just 
notice that these two products do a lot of good onto my skin and this is just what I do when I am shaving my skin and using this um, hair remover now if you have a different skincare routine stick by it if that is what you want this is just what I use whenever I am using this shaver onto my skin whenever I'm exfoliating it technically that's what you're doing because you are removing all of that dead skin cell from your face so whenever I am doing that I grab vitamin E because vitamin E is great for your skin like I said previously and then I grab my oil I pour it onto the pads of my fingers I rub it and then I rub it all around I let it sit for a tiny bit then I grab my Mederma oil I put it onto the pads of my fingers I rub it on there and then rub it all around I do go on my eyebrows I do go on my eyelids around my nose on my nose all over and then I do go down my neck and your chest area please do not neglect your neck and chest when you are doing skincare whatever skincare you are doing to the face bring it down to your neck and to your chest don't forget those areas please a lot of people tend to forget them and they are very important they're just as important as your face from there I grab this beauty right here my jade roller now I do wash it after every time that I use it clean it with soap and water before you put it away you can put this in a ziploc bag and keep it in the fridge um, or in the freezer if you do not want it to freeze or you're scared that it may break or something you can keep it in your fridge now um, I do have a jade stone and that one I do keep in the fridge because I do not worry about this breaking but this one I do keep it in the refrigerator inside a ziploc bag protected um, and safe if you do not it is totally okay just keep it somewhere where it's going to be safe where you're going to see it and remember to use it and if it does get dirty and you don't want to use it like that always clean it before you use it just to prevent anything so I grab this roller and I start from the bridge of my nose and work my way out this helps stimulate your blood it helps stimulate your skin and it helps really push in all of the oils that you put into your skin or whatever skincare products you use now you do want to roll it outwards and up on your cheek area so from the bridge of your nose roll it outwards and up Use the bug guys sorry it's attracted to my ring light so on the chin area we are going side to side as well as your mustache area your upper lip area now up and down on the bridge of your nose and upwards on the upper portion of your nose when it comes to your brows you will be going to the side as well as the other side of your forehead and your brow now jawline upwards jawline upwards now from your bottom part of your ear down you are going to be working downwards now on your other side you will be working downwards now another feature about this oil that I forgot to mention if you drag it down your neck 
a lot of people get sunspots or pigmentation around your ne around their neck and that oil really really helps with that now this jade roller does help your skin so on your neck area your sides go down and the rest goes upwards now you may have a very thin neck you may have a medium neck or a thick neck or like myself if you do have any kind of thyroid problem you will tend to have a bigger neck um that's just the way it is we cannot do anything about it some people get it some people don't um some people have it because of their thyroid issue and some just have it just because i have it like i said because of my thyroid problem and it's okay there's no problem this really, really helps stimulate the blood flow in your neck and really get your oils into your skin. It helps them penetrate your skin that much more just to really give it its full benefits. Now, if you do not like using oil because of your skin type, then any other skincare product that you do use, go ahead and use it and enjoy your roller. You can find your roller anywhere, um, any drugstore sells them now, so you do not have to worry about not being able to get your hands on one. You can always get one online. Now, my skincare um, hair laser remover, I did get this online. I did order it on there, so you can go ahead and check out Lux Skin. I will be checking out uh, their site and hopefully be able to get that link and put it down below in the description box for you. If not, I will obviously be leaving the name down there so like that you guys can check them out. Um, if you have any kind of skincare routines that you like and you would like for me to review, by all means, go ahead. If you have the same problem with your neck because you do have a thyroid condition or just because your neck decided to do this to you and you have a way that helps with it or anything like that and you would like to share it with me so that i can try it out and maybe do a tutorial on that for others who may be having the same problem by all means please go ahead and leave it down below in the comments and i will be sure to be reading them and trying it out myself thank you very much for watching this video i am sorry that it wasn't real hands-on but i did already do this and i did not just want to redo it remember you do not pass the same area twice with this you only use it once a week after eight weeks you will start noticing the difference and then after 12 weeks of using it you reduce the time to once a month to two to once every two months it just really depends on how fast your hair grows in that time period and how well you see it working once again i hope that you liked this video i wish it was a little bit more hands-on but for sure in the next one thank you very very much for your time and have a great day